Aloha and welcome to Kaimana Conservation, the channel where we talk about the ocean and everything ocean related. Today we're going to talk about 20 more fish species that you can find while exploring the reefs of Hawaii. Let's dive in. The first fish on our list is the Hawaiian cleaner wrasse or Hinalea. Hawaiian cleaner wrasse are endemic species to the Hawaiian Islands, meaning that they are found nowhere else on earth. Often overlooked by snorkelers and divers due to their diminutive size, Hawaiian cleaner wrasse are small fish the size of your pinky finger with a yellow head and purple tail. These fish are especially adapted to clean other marine species like fish, turtles, rays, and sharks. They pick off dead skin cells, flaking scales, algae, and even parasites, which in turn keeps their clients clean and healthy. The next fish on our list is the orange-spined unicorn fish, or umauma lei, meaning chest garland, referring to the yellow and orange markings on the ventral side of the fish. The orange-spined unicorn fish does not have the uniquely identifiable horn, unlike many other species in the family. It does, however, possess a bright orange double spine at the base of the tail, a characteristic of all unicorn fish. These fish can be seen as solitary foragers or swimming in large feeding aggregations over the reef. Next up are needlefish and half beaks, also known as aha and ihe ihe, respectively. These fish are long and slender silver fish like a needle, and they stay just beneath the ocean surface for camouflage amongst the waves. Needlefish and half beaks swim in small groups, eating planktonic prey stuck in the water's surface tension. There are several different species of needlefish and half beaks found in Hawaii, but can be difficult to distinguish apart from the larger crocodile needlefish, which resembles a small barracuda. The next fish is the saddle wrasse, or Hinalea lau willi, meaning the wrasse that looks like the leaves of the willy willy tree. Saddle wrasse are another endemic species to Hawaii. They can be identified by their blue-green body and a prominent red saddle patch on its dorsal side or back. Saddle wrasse are solitary and very fast swimmers to keep away from predators and sometimes snorkelers, making it difficult to take photographs of them underwater. Next up is the rock mover wrasse, or Hinalea, also known as the dragon wrasse or the reindeer wrasse due to the antler-like appendages on the body of the juvenile. To camouflage from predators, juvenile rock mover wrasse sway with the surge along the seafloor, mimicking small pieces of seaweed. As adults, they lose the fin filaments and develop dark brown scales with white edges, a pattern similar to a pine cone. As their name implies, these unique wrasse use their large teeth to overturn rocks on the seafloor, to forage for food, and even arrange the substrate to create an ideal area for sleeping beneath the sediment. The next fish is the millet seed butterfly fish, or lau willy willy, meaning the bright yellow leaves of the willy willy tree. The common name is inspired by the vertical lines of small dots resembling seeds of millet. The millet seed butterfly fish is another endemic species on this list and are often seen traveling in large groups while foraging along the bottom for algae, fish eggs, and other small benthic creatures. It is believed that the reason millet sea butterfly fish sometimes swarm divers and snorkelers is because they evolved to follow larger marine mammals like the monk seal, who scared away predators and distracted fish from protecting their eggs. Next up are the squirrel fish species, also known as ala ihi, or long spike, because of their sharp dorsal spines that can be dangerous to handle when fishing. There are nearly a dozen species of squirrel fish found throughout the Hawaiian Islands, and they can be identified by their bright red body with white stripes. They're a fairly timid, skittish fish that prefer to dwell under overhangs and in caves during the day. When startled, they scatter, lending to the common name of squirrel fish. The next fish family on our list are similar looking species, the soldier fish, or uu, mimicking the grunting sound it makes when disturbed. Soldier fish are bright red, nocturnal fish like squirrel fish. Unlike squirrel fish, however, they do not have stripes. Instead, they have well-defined individual scales, making their bodies appear checkered. Squirrel fish and soldier fish are often found aggregating together in dark places during the day. The red color of the body helps these fish camouflage, since it is the first color to filter out of the white light spectrum underwater. But their brick red color can be rediscovered with an underwater flashlight. Their big eyes help them to see in the dark and are common fish to see on night dives. Next up is the yellow tail chorus, or Hinalea akilolo, meaning lazy wrasse. This name comes from a behavior unique to colorful fish on the reef like wrasse and parrotfish. 
They bury themselves in the sand at night to protect themselves from predators. The yellowtail chorus is a brightly colored fish with different color phases, depending on the age and sex of the animal. As a juvenile, this fish is bright orange with white stripes, but as it grows, the orange turns to red and then to purple with tiny neon blue polka dots and a bright yellow tail from which the common name is derived. The next fish is the peacock grouper, or roy. The roy is the only non-native and invasive species on this list, meaning that it is not naturally found in the Hawaiian Islands. It was introduced by humans and outcompetes many native species for food. The peacock grouper is found in the South Pacific and is a voracious ambush predator that indiscriminately eats smaller fish. Although non-native, these fish have become common throughout Hawaii's reefs and are often seen during snorkels and dives. The next fish on our list is the giant porcupine fish, or kokala, meaning spiny like the lauhala plant. The giant porcupine fish is the largest member of the puffer family, growing up to a meter in length and has the ability to inflate like other puffer species by drawing in air and water when stressed. As a porcupine fish, its body is completely covered in interlacing spines, which lay flat when relaxed, but will point outwards perpendicular to the skin if inflated, making it an extremely difficult species for predators to consume. Next up are the chromis species. There are half a dozen fish that make up this subcategory of damselfish. They are a smaller fish species that might go unnoticed if it weren't for its aggregating behavior over the tops of the reef. Easily seen by snorkelers and divers, these tiny fish hover over the reef and then dart downward into the coral structure for cover if approached. Like other damselfish, chromis lay their eggs directly onto the substrate and will stay near the clutches to aerate them and protect them from predators. The next fish on our list is another damselfish species, the sergeant major, or mamo, meaning small. Sergeant majors are small, round fish with silvery coloration and black vertical bars. When traveling in schools, the black bars act like zebra stripes, confusing predators, making them more difficult to catch. Mamo are plankton feeders and tend to swarm high in the water column to feed. There are a few species of sergeant major in Hawaii, one of which is endemic, However, sergeant majors are circumtropical, meaning they're found in warm waters worldwide. The next fish family on our list are parrotfish, or uhu. This fish family consists of several species, making up some of the largest and most colorful fish on the reef. They are fast moving and can be difficult to identify underwater, especially because the males and females are often different sizes and colors, called sexual dimorphism. They form reproductive harems, where the individual males are generally larger and more colorful, while the females are smaller and more subtle in color. Parrotfish are specialist coralivores, meaning they only eat coral polyps and the calcium carbonate line scone beneath. A byproduct of this diet is that a single parrotfish's digestive system grinds up about one ton of calcium carbonate sand every year. Next up, the gold ring surgeonfish, also known as kole, meaning raw. Gold ring surgeonfish are another endemic species. They are dark brown with a gold circle around the eye. Kole are algae grazers and can form large feeding aggregations. Their schools can quickly clear a space of turf algae from the substrate, making room for more coral recruits. This is also a common species to see removing algae growing on the backs of sea turtles at cleaning stations, an area where fish and turtles share a mutually beneficial relationship. The next fish on our list is the hawkfish, or pilikoa, meaning stuck to the coral. There are half a dozen species of hawkfish that are found in the Hawaiian Islands, and all of them display their namesake characteristic, sitting motionless on the branches of coral, using its pectoral fins and tail to prop itself up. These fish are ambush predators and lie quietly in wait for prey to swim by before swallowing them whole. However, once their cover is blown, they will swim away and find another perch nearby. Next up is the Big Eye Emperor, or Mu, which was the name of the enforcer for kapu, or laws and regulations in ancient Hawaiian tradition. These sizable fish can be found hovering above the reefs and can be all silver or use their color-changing skin cells, called chromatophores, to develop three large dark brown saddle patches on its dorsal side. Mu have sharp teeth in the front for grabbing, but molar-like teeth in the back to crush hard-shelled prey like crustaceans. Next up is the barred filefish, or o'ili, meaning to sprout, referring to the tall dorsal spine that goes up when threatened or excited. These filefish are a light gray with dark gray vertical bars and bright orangish yellow fins. 
Filefish are very laterally compressed, meaning they're extremely narrow and tall and have a unique way of swimming by undulating their dorsal and ventral fins for movement. They also have very sharp teeth and a protruding mouth that specializes in cracking through tough shells of vana or sea urchin. The long mouth and backset eyes protect them from the sharp spines. The next fish on our list is the four spot butterfly fish, or lao hao, meaning the leaf of the hao plant, one of the essential canoe plants Hawaiians brought with them when voyaging through the South Pacific. They are easily identifiable by the bright yellow body and dark brown back with two white spots in the center of the patch. These monogamous butterfly fish are frequently seen swimming in mated pairs above the reef while foraging for algae and small invertebrates. Finally, to wrap up the top 20 more fish species list, we have the scorpion fish family, which includes scorpion fish and lionfish, called nohu and nohu pinau, respectively. Nohu means venom, and pinau means dragonfly, referring to the fan-like fins of the lionfish. Like the family name implies, scorpion fish have venomous spines on their dorsal, pectoral, and pelvic fins. If disturbed or accidentally touched, they can inject a painful toxin. Scorpion fish are masters of camouflage, sitting motionless on the seafloor waiting to ambush prey that swim too close to its giant mouth. Lionfish use a slightly different approach, using their elongated fins as a net to corral prey into the corner of the reef, making them easier to catch. A quick bonus. Did you know that eels are fish? Although their body shape more so resembles snakes, eels are actually a fish. They open and close their mouths to pump water over their gills to extract oxygen from the water. There are dozens of eel species found throughout the Hawaiian Islands, from the larger moray eels to conger eels to garden eels. Check out a few eel species you can encounter while diving or snorkeling in Hawaii. If you wanna learn more about each eel species, let me know in the comments. Eels deserve a whole video to themselves. Mahalo Nui Loa for joining me today to learn about 20 more reef fish you can encounter while exploring Hawaii's coral reefs. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my other video, The Top 20 Fish You Can See in Hawaii, Part 1. Thanks again, and a hui ho.